Yo, what's up, guys? Hey, man, welcome back to the channel, man. Y'all know what time it is. Yo, man, before I get started with the video, man, I just want to say thank you guys for everybody that, you know, subscribe to the channel and likes and leaves comments. I appreciate each and, one, each and every one of you. Also, man, follow me on here. Yeah, man, it's my Instagram, the X-Ray Zone. You can't miss it. And DM me, bro. I'm here for you guys. DM me, DM me questions, whatever you guys need. I try my best to get to you and to your questions as promptly as possible. But it's free game. You know what I'm saying? It's free games that I'm giving you guys that a lot of creators don't give you. You know, how many creators are honestly going to say, follow me on my Instagram and ask me questions and I got you? Not many. You know, I do this because I really want to help you guys. I really want to help you guys make good decisions for yourself and for your future. You know, so follow me on there if you need help, man. You know, I'm, I'm here for you. Also, follow me on here. Yeah, it's my TikTok, man. I'm trying to grow that too. I drop knowledge and videos and, you know, funny memes that TikTok is known for. So follow your boy, man. I really would help me out, and I really appreciate you on there. And you know, thank you for that. Thank you for the um, for the help and the follow. So anyway, on today's video, I want to talk to you guys about is AI going to take over radiology? Right? Is it going to take over? So the thing is, I'm gonna give you three reasons why it won't take it over, and a few reasons why it will take over. Okay, I know it's scary because it's like, oh. I don't want to go to school for two years and AI is going to take over everything. And, you know, I'm going to go to school for two years and then in two years, I'm not going to have a job. Like, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm here to calm your nerves. I'm here to be like, look, relax, player. I got you, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to let you get into a career that's going to be gone in 10 years. You know what I mean? So just relax and just chill. Right. So the first thing is this, man, there's no way that AI is going to take over that human interaction. People need that interaction, man. They need that comfort of a human, human to human, you know, talk and be like, hey, you know, how are you feeling today? What's going on? You know, especially in the triage area, as far as like us, when we're asking questions about have you had this exam done before? What's bothering you? You know, and have that real empathy for them. You know, when you have AI and a robot, that's not going to, it's not going to be as, you know, heartwarming, as you can say, and, you know, patients are going to stop coming, you know, so we don't need that. You know, nobody needs that. We need to get better. We need to fix patients, make them feel better. So AI won't do that. So don't worry about that. Okay. So we need, we need us. The second reason why I want to take over is this, and that's positioning. The thing about positioning is that AI can, an AI machine could probably tell you, hey, lay on your back or a like, hey, lay like this. But they can't really be like, hey, because sometimes patients don't really understand. You'd be like, hey, you know, I'm doing a chest x-ray, put your, can you please face the machine? And then what they do, they turn around the opposite way and then it's like, or the opposite way. And, you know, it's just, they don't know. So they need that, that positioning human to be like, okay, do this, do that, do this. And that'll help you, you know what I'm saying? And it helps the patients feel a little calmer. So AI can't do that. You know, positioning complexity is hard, you know, especially when you're doing a BE or you're doing obliques. Or whatever the case you're doing an x-ray or ct you know an ai machine cannot take that over okay so be prepared for that the third one is this patient safety you know how many times do ai machines break down like, let's be honest don't get me wrong we're human we get sick but we fight through it you know what i'm saying we like hey man i gotta go make this money player you know what i'm saying i gotta go to work i got eight kids two wives no you got two wives i'm just playing but for real and honest sincerity right mm -hmm. You you fight through it, bro, because you you you're human. You you know you know that this is just temporary, and you got to go to work, make that money, do what you got to do, right? Machines, bro, they break down. You got to wait two or three days for a technician to come in, fix it, and meanwhile, what you're gonna have patients just waiting for X-ray or CT or X-ray to or MRI, anything to be done because the machine broke down, and three days later they need to go order a part from Europe to get here in four weeks. Man, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? So definitely, they they definitely need us, player. They need us. You know what I'm saying? And the fourth one is this. I know I said three, but I kind of get overboard. It's legal, legal issues, you know? Uh, and the thing about legal issues is that what if the somehow they have an AI CT tech, right? And they inject the contrast to a patient that's allergic or they inject contrast to a patient that B and creatinine are way too high or GFR is way too low, you know, and they put them in a kidney failure. You know, not that humans can't do that, but machines also, you know, make mistakes. At least, you know, you we can, you know, get, you know, in trouble for it, I guess, written up, things like that, maybe fired. I don't know. I don't wish that upon nobody, but I'm saying we can, things can happen to us as human. 
But whenever you're a robot, what are they going to do? Bring you and bring another robot in? They can't sue a robot. You know what I'm saying? Just things like that, you know? So there's a lot of legal issues behind that. You know, what if they're doing, what if you get a robot for x-ray and they do a burying enema and they, you know, the machine goes crazy and they just inserts the, the thing way too far or whatever. Like, you know, it's just things that, that AI people, AI robots can't do, you know? So don't worry about it, man. We got this. Okay. Now I'm going to tell you a couple of reasons why they, why and what they can take over. Right. So the first one is this, some radiologist readings, they can take over because it has been detected that they are able to detect AI is able to detect breast cancer before it's even cancer formed, which to me is awesome, life saving, you know, and that's something a radiologist can't do. They can't sit there and be like, oh, you know, this can possibly be cancer, so we're gonna catch it early. Like they can see little things, but they I guess they don't have the technique or the the software, of course, that AI does that they can catch that on time, which is super cool. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's awesome. And the second thing that can help out is this. So now newer machines like GE Revolutions, things like that. So now they have an AI generated system in there. What they do is that they you lay the patient down on the table and then you you go on the screen, you pick the patient's name, and just by picking the patient's name and the and the exam, it, the machine does the rest and knows exactly where to position the patient and knows how far into go into the gantry, when to come out. You know, so it has those AI capabilities, which is, you know, it's cool. I mean, it saves you, you know, a couple of button pushing, you know what I'm saying? So it does a little bit of that, but not too much. Nothing crazy that's going to be like, oh, well, it's going to take over our job. You know, nothing like that. So, yo, guys, my personal opinion, don't worry about it. If you really want to be an x-ray tech, go for x-ray tech. Your job is safe and you never have to worry about AI taking over. All right. So you already know, man. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting. Come back. I got you.